California Gold Rush by Ben, Garrett, Aaron, and Simon, and Alex. What do you think of when you think of gold? Maybe money, chains, wrappers, gold nuggets, and rings. John Ooh. Sutter, a Swiss immigrant dressed up in a second-hand French army uniform, visited the Mexican government in 1839. Sutter eventually persuaded the governor to grant Sutter 50,000 acres in the Sacramento Valley where no one had settled yet. Sutter eventually built a forge on his land and dreamed of creating his own empire that would be based on agriculture. In 1848, John Sutter told one of his workers, James Marshall, to build a sawmill on one of the nearby American rivers. One day at the mill, Marshall was inspecting the canal when he saw something shiny. He reached down to pick it up and noticed that it was gold. When people found out, the news spread rapidly. People that were already living in California rushed to the American River and started the California Gold Rush. People from all other parts of the U.S. started moving that way also. Miners soon found gold in other streams flowing out of the Sierra Nevada mountains. The following years, thousands of gold miners went to California to make their fortune from gold. The mining camp started out as rows of tents along the river of the Sierra Nevada. People gradually changed from living in tents to build wooden buildings that housed stores and saloons. Mining camps could be dangerous. One lady said that there were murders, fearf fearful accidents, bloody Ooh. deaths, a mob, whipping, a hanging, and a fatal duel. The life at mining camps were hard for other reasons too. Camp rumors told that miners were getting rich overnight by finding eight pound nuggets of gold, but really, to find an eight pound nugget was rare. <laughs> By 1852, the gold rush was over. The gold rush caused a lot of change in California. One of the changes was because of all the immigration during the gold rush. California had economic growth that changed California forever. San Francisco, California's main port, became a huge center of banking, manufacturing, shipping, and trade. Also, California's population exploded from 400 in 1845 to 35,000 people in 1850. Wow! Sacramento became a center of farming. Not all of the things that happened were positive from the gold rush, though. With all the new Americans coming to California, most California customers were violated and not followed. California was settled from Spanish and Mexico descent. Do you have a pair of Levi jeans? Well, they were made during the California gold rush. In 1873, a man named Levi Stratus decided he wanted to make a sturdy pair of pants to sell to the miners. He made the pants out of cotton denim, which was the strongest material he could buy. Our sources was our U.S. history textbook.